What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a tree like Thomas Kincaid. The tree we're going to be working on here is this pink tree. The color here looks like it's pink, but really it's a mixture of some red, magenta, white, and a very small amount of gray in some areas that helps desaturate the color. So I'm already working on this painting here, which is one of Kincaid's paintings called The Bridge of Faith. I have a video I recently made about how to start this painting, which I left a link for in the description below. So I already have the background established, and so I will begin painting this tree. I'm using water mixable oil paints, and so they take a while to dry. So this paint mixture here will be one with some magenta, red, white, and some gray. I'm using a small flat brush, and so when I start applying the paint, I use short and horizontal brush strokes. Keep in mind, we are painting clusters of leaves, not individual ones. I made that mistake here a few times, but that's not a big deal because you could always go back and correct that with applying some more dark gray paint to reapply for the background. So at the same time as I'm applying these leaf clusters, I'm adding some other things in my environment next to the tree so that it'll be better integrated into the painting. This includes the white tree to the left and also some dark green leaves in the background, which are going to be the dark and forest behind the pink tree. Also, I'm reapplying the dark gray paint to the background to give it more opacity. It's important to work with layers not only with the objects that you're painting, but with backgrounds as well so that you can maximize the color value that you're intending to do. This will also help add more to the contrast with the lighter objects in front, like these trees here. This would also be the perfect time to tighten up the leaf clusters, going over any mistakes you have made and go over some areas that you may have painted too much of and get back some of that negative space. So once that first layer of paint dries up that you need to use for the leaf clusters, now we could come back and start adding the second layer onto them. This time the mixture is a slightly bolder mixture. Same colors as last time, but different ratio. We are using magenta, red, a very small amount of gray, and a smaller amount of white. What we are doing in this round of painting is adding more diversity of color value onto the leaf clusters. In nature, obviously, you're going to see different color values inside the tree because of the way light and shadow work together. And so this part is going to help simulate that and you'll find out why later on in this video. So with this mixture, you can slightly deviate from this base color, but don't go too far off. Use a variety of mixture, but overall, keep it close to this color you can see here that I'm using. At this time, you could also start to paint the individual leaves with a smaller detailer brush. Keep in mind that you will go back at a later time and paint even more individual leaves during the final stage, so don't go overboard on this part for right now. At the same time as I'm doing this, I'm doing some other tasks as well, like elaborating more of the tree trunk and touching up more on my environment, which I'm still in the middle stages of painting. The light source is coming from the right, and so the tree trunk will be lightest on the right, and also make sure that the general trend of color value will be the lightest on the right side of the leaf clusters. So once I'm happy with what I have, I then wait once more for the paint to dry. Then, I come back here and finish tightening up any spots that I don't like before I begin the final detailing stage. Okay, let's begin this final stage. This stage has two parts. This first part here, we are going to add a darker version of our pink tree mixture. This will once again be some red, magenta, and a small amount of gray. Make sure the color value for this one is darker than what we have on the canvas. Now when you start applying it, be very careful with how much you put down. Very gently apply small amounts everywhere, kind of like dots or clusters of dots all over the leaf clusters. The purpose of this is that these will simulate the shadows inside the tree leaves. Make sure you do not cover up the entire previous layer. Apply just enough so that you can still see parts of the previous layer that you painted over. And of course, with this one, use a variety of color in this mixture. Before moving on, you could go over any other tasks like refining the tree branches or tightening up any other spots. But here we go with the second part on the final stage. At this time, you don't have to wait for it to dry. Make a very light mixture of what we have been using for this tree. And don't use any gray this time. You can still play around with the color variety. Use a smaller detailer brush in this stage. And so you'll be painting individual leaves for all of this part. So it will take some extra time. And so very carefully use short and horizontal brushing to add the leaves onto here. Also, you have the freedom to have more variety in your color value. Still use a brighter color this whole time, but make sure you have some variation with that. Keep in mind that the brightest leaves should be on the right side of this tree. Make sure that you think about overall color trends in this part. Pay attention to the gradient effects you paint on here, because this will prevent the tree from looking flat. 
And that's the thing about the specific tree. The leaves are all bright by default, so be careful with how much you use color value here so that you are still able to pull off creating a three-dimensional effect. Alright guys, that's a wrap. If your tree looks anything close to this, then congratulate yourself. It takes time and patience to paint something like this. The principles I use here can translate to many other painting principles when it comes to painting nature, so you can add these ideas to your future painting endeavors. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.